Welcome everyone to our meeting. Please excuse my appearance. I had a procedure and I asked them when I left, didn't they have anything more attractive than this? Couldn't I pick out a color? But no, this is the way it is. So. Okay, so we'll go along. Okay, the consent agenda. I make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Do I have a second? Any questions? All those in favor? Mr. Rarick? Uh, resignations and retirements for Cassett School Kindergarten <coughs> aid. Resignation Denise Porter, High School Library aid, leave of absence Gail Amaron. Appointments High School Music Band Director uh, Dan Snizek. Middle School Homework Club Advisor Deb O'Hara. Middle School Music Mike Alves. And Elementary Art uh, Bethany St. Pierre. Okay, thank you. Welcome to everyone and thank you for the ones that resigned. And uh, co any correspondence? I don't believe so. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, there is from, sorry, from the uh, Tiverton Library. Yeah. Uh, right. A summary that they provide us every year with the number of uh, students who participated in their uh, different uh, activities that they sponsor. They had a wonderful turnout, and one of them was on reptiles, and I had taken my grandchildren, and I was so happy there was no room because I'm not very fond of reptiles, so they let me look through the glass. I was very <laughs> pleased with that. <laughs> okay, now we have new business um, discussion, possible vote teacher handbook. Yes, um, this is something that uh, the district hasn't had district-wide uh, for some time. And I asked uh, Mrs. Donnelly Roach if she could draft something uh, for your review if adopted, we've uh, distributed to our, our teachers in the next week or so. So it looks like it pulls a lot of either the existing policies or it just sort of puts it all in one yep, place. Yeah, it's information that teachers should know about. And again, as I said in the cover memo, Terry Robinson looked at it. So do I have a motion for discussion? I make a motion to approve. Second. And I think it's a good idea. It codifies things and puts them in one place to turn to. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. Year, you know, it's a good idea, yeah. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have any questions, Carol? Do so will they, present a, will they be presented with a paper copy, or is it just going to be online? I believe there's a second page or another sheet assigned for the internet to oh. use policy. Yeah. I, I saw it in the. Yeah, we can do that. We really have it. Well, out of signing the major main yeah. thing, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. I'm still old school. I like to make sure that they get it. But if they choose, you know, they want to sign off that way, that's fine. We don't really care how we get on the sign off page. Mm -hmm. Right. So, are any other questions from anyone? No? Thank you, Amy, for doing that. That's a good job. And all those in favor? Okay, thank you. Um, Tivit and Prevention Go Coalition, um, Rebecca, I'm glad you could come and you can tell us about all the wonderful things that happened this summer. Just very briefly, I want to announce kind of a little sadly that we are just about to begin our fifth and final year of our drug-free community grant. Um, time does fly pretty quickly, and uh, our final year starts October 1st and runs until this time next year. Uh, sometime closer to the first of the year, I will come back to the um, school committee, excuse me, and ask for permission to write the grant again, submitting for years six through ten. Um, the grant is available for that second round of funding and only for that second round. After that, there's no more opportunities. Uh, I kind of liken that second round to being hit by lightning and winning a lottery on the same day. 
the first five years of funding is very difficult to get. The second round of five years of funding is, is nearly impossible, but we could give it a good try. Um, simultaneously, our marijuana and other drug initiative grant is also entering its fifth and final year. There is no second bite of that apple. That's When that's done, it's done. Um, so we're going to make the most of our funding this year. We are always looking for sustainability. We've recently sent out a newsletter to the community sort of with a heads up that, the, that the, those funding sources are ending this year uh, with the hope that people will think that it's worthwhile to continue to support prevention in, in Chiverton um, and look for ways of assisting us and supporting us in doing that. Uh, we just finished a uh, very extensive needs assessment report that um, took archival data, so police data, um, kids count data, that type of thing, combined with the last five years of student prevention surveys, focus groups, and key informant interviews. Um, our evaluator took all of the data, uh, crunched all the numbers, and quite proudly, we have dec um, decreased our 30-day use of tobacco, marijuana, alcohol, and prescription drugs among our 9th through 12th grades across the board. Quite significantly so with marijuana. We went from 44% of our, of our high school students in 2012 saying that in the 30 days prior to the survey they had used marijuana. Um, to this past year, dro the drop down was to 26%. So from 44 to 26 um, is enormous. That's, we look over that period of time, a 5% decrease. Um, in the prevention world, we would pat ourselves on the back, but that's a pretty uh, dramatic. Um, and I think that that can be most readily explained that we've had resources, financial resources, to be able to do outreach and to, to do some of the work required. Um, but we've also had just unprecedented collaboration between the coalition, the school, and the community. And I think um, it, it really has shown in the numbers it's made a significant difference. A um, couple of things that happened over the summer. I think the last school committee meeting I spoke at, we talked about the students, and they did a great job uh, representing themselves. The students that went out to Lake Placid for um, student athlete training, life of an athlete, those students are following up now that the school year has begun. And um, at the preseason athletic meeting in the summer in, um, in August, they did a presentation for parents and their peers, um, passed out some cards with nutritional information, the importance of sleep and all of that. They're going to be focusing in on those health, um, health and lifestyle uh, pieces of information with their peers through the course of the year. That's sort of what they're going to be focusing in on. And the coalition's really pleased and proud to be able to help support them in that. Rebecca, what staff went on that? Um, Jack McKinnon went, and also Bill Phillips. Oh, that's one. Um, both representing the school, but also the athletic end of things. Um, Bill Phillips and Dave Landock are the two uh, co-advisors for um, Tiger, Pride. Tiger Pride. The students that uh, that went, it was for the opportunity was first offered to Tiger Pride students because they'd already received some training. Um, when it came to uh, time to send students, we needed to round out our numbers with a, a couple of kids that were not in Tiger Pride. Um, so we had two young ladies sign up um, and so ultimately ended up sending six kids to Lake Placid and really hoping that that could become um, an annual opportunity so that we can send kids. The, the value of that um, is enormous. They, they are with students from across the country who are similarly interested in healthy athletic lifestyles, um, uh, promoting nutrition, sleep, not using substances, proper recovery after um, practices, making sure that kids are hydrated, and knowing all of the right steps to do in order for their bodies to uh, be at optimal level. And they come back after being with all of the kids from across the country, really enthused and, you know, it kind of just, it gives them motivation to hear that this kind of work can be done by teenagers and it's happening across the country. So they kind of bring that back with, with renewed energy and enthusiasm. Oh, that's wonderful. 
Okay, thank you, Rebecca. Um, health and wellness, I just wanted to mention that we'll be going to the health and wellness breakfast. Anyone that wants to come is invited. On the state level, they're going to have that again. So we'll all be going and we'll report back when we come back and we'll start having our meetings again. Dr. Larkin, I'll let you know when it is. And uh, we'll try to get more parents involved and of course all the nurses come. And so we'll have those and we'll also do our advisory visits with Mr. Fiore and our fall and then spring visits. So I just want to kick off that health and wellness again. Okay, thank you. Um, school opening update, Mr. Rarick? Yes, um, we opened school on the 31st of August. Um, things went uh, relatively well. Uh, our buses ran late during the first few days, uh, which is usual for the start of the school year, but now they're down to the, the acceptable time frame for, for most drop-offs. Our total student enrollment has increased by 23 students from uh, June of last year. We have 27 more kindergartner students kindergarten students than we did last year. Um, our K's are pretty much maxed out at all three schools, so we have a case for success. Um, our K-4 enrollment has increased by overall by 23 students. Middle school has increased by 10, and the high school stayed the same. Uh, where we lost students was in our uh, out-of-district placements. So students in school, uh, at the middle school and the elementary schools, have increased this year. Anyone have any questions about that? No? Okay. Um, this one's very important. The school committee, budget committee, and town council joint meeting to discuss the school construction. This is a meeting that we have to have so we can send our papers in by October 1st to the state. So Mr. Rarick and Mr. Fiore, would you like to talk about the process and what you've done already? Well, we've met with uh, our architects uh, on Friday and month, uh, this morning. Uh, we've had to get things in by September 10th, so we had to um, pri we had to do some estimating and best guess information, which I'll share with the committee uh, at our next meeting. But because we had to get it in on Thursday, we had to submit it. So all the documents will be submitted. Once you get submitted, then it kind of comes down to you go into a pool for the whole state and then ride determines who's the most needy and then they will distribute that 20 million to the governor's put forward so it's very possible we may not see anything from it but we had to uh, you know Please get everything we had to fast track yeah. everything to get it in and we also worked with them on breaking down the project you know how much you know over over time with you know, some positive forecasting, even though we can change it, we don't get the funding for all the work that we need. So we put that out in the year. We, had to, we submitted a five-year plan with all that, with a lot of the work being done in the third year, 17, 18, uh, and all of a sudden we'll have our funding straight up for the big ticket. But this meeting's very important because it's part of the process. Yeah, yeah. if we didn't get this paperwork in by Thursday, we wouldn't be eligible for anything. And then the meeting with the council, though. Oh, in the, the budget council, committee. We need, we need the meeting with the council. Yeah, we need that we have meeting. To finalize for us. Fund it, yeah, finance plan for all the work that needs to be done. How much support we can count on, um, if any. Mm -hmm. And we need, does that have to happen by that We need, because we, we need it as soon as possible, but we sent the paperwork in, in you know, assuming. We, we agree on it, we can always change it, but the, de the deadline is September 10th. So when are we going to meet? We, they have not we have sent a letter, I believe in, in June. We already we sent it out. We got a response back. Uh, I'll send another letter asking you know, that we meet. But I already sent one letter. But since we submitted without it, it's we not. Still need, you still we still need to have that meeting. Yeah, because they're going to check that we off. Have to plan financially for how we're going to pay for certain things. If, if we have to go it alone, in other words, we have to figure out how much money we have, how much we're going to spend, and then, you know, 
put a plan together. And that's something Bry wants to look at, so we may need to update the plan yep. we submitted based yeah. upon that right. meeting. Right. 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 will actually ask us to submit more information if they're, if they're inclined to support. That's the November 1st, then. That's what Sally's in. November 1st, we yeah. have to solidify our funding. October 1st. Oh, but do they move it? Oh, good. But this doesn't mean the town has to commit anything no, either. Just we just have, have to have that meeting. Do you know what I mean? We have to have a meeting and a conversation. Okay. So what did, did we give a date and a reason why we needed to have the meeting in the first letter? Yes. And also the reimbursement goes to the town. Yeah, the, the, this, you know. The right, it I doesn't mean, come to the school. Right, the, the reimbursement, reimbursement the yeah, Any reimbursement from the state is right. reimbursed. But it'll still help the town out, so they should want to sit down and meet with us. But you this know? is part of that $20 million that she has set aside. That, that just came available. And then there's the other source also, so now there's two. So, again, talking to our architects who are a little more plugged in at the state level, they believe it's possible more than $20 million will become available. But, until you see it, you can't. So could we send another letter just I think that's what we want to do. Yes. I it, would recommend that you give me permission to send a second letter. Yeah. And say we all voted for, you know. Just to talk about because we have to share it with them. I right. mean, they should know what, you know, what, what, what uh, issues we have with our facilities. And well, and if, if we not having that discussion is going to somehow preclude us from being qualified for that money. I in think we need term, to say Yes, that. in the long term, and we did. In the long term, yeah, let's say we true. just spent 500000 mm -hmm. and that's all we could afford. Right. If we don't have this meeting and have these discussions, 40% of that 500000 wouldn't come back to the town. No, because that's one of the... It would just be spent. You know. There'd be no reimbursement. <laughs> so it sounds like we just need to... And I understand that they're, they're yeah. really busy and they've got a lot going on. Things going on. We'll try but to prod them again. That's well, why the budget committee hasn't even met yet. Right, but season, we need them to, we've invited them as well. But we just wanted to put this on here officially and then send that letter out again and with a sense of urgency, I think, yeah. you know, and that will be good. So is that okay with everyone? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Very good. And, uh, when would it become an issue if we have not had this meeting? October 15th, November 1st, September 1st. Right. November 1st. If we get chosen, okay, so we yeah. need have to, to have say that. We need to say we have to meet. Yeah. Absolutely. So that they don't. We really so do. Yeah. If, you know, if we have not be, met, it will preclude us from going okay. to stage two. That's right. Knowing how hard it is to set these meetings up. Yeah. Okay. Any questions on that one from anyone? No. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Rivett? Uh, open house next week. They're posted on our website. Uh, every school has a day starting Monday of next week. And they start at 6 o'clock. So, does anyone else does anyone else have any other announcements any of the principals or anybody no just a good opening we all visited all the schools we, it was great to see all the all the children so excited and the teachers it really was it's such a warm feeling everywhere this year it was very special okay Carol uh, would you like the motion for executive session? I guess. Is, yes. is that all right, Mr. Eric? Are we done? Okay. Okay. I make a motion to go into executive session to discuss A, proposed administrator's contract, B, assistant superintendent's contract, C, director of administration and finance draft contract, D, contract negotiations for maintenance director and technology director, and E, superintendent's contract, all under SS 42 46 5A2. Second. All those in favor? Yes. 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 